a 75-year-old woman with hypertension is being treated with a thiazide. Her blood pressure responds well and reads at 120-76 mmHg. After several months on the medication, she complains of being tired and weak. An analysis of the blood indicates low values for which of the following? Option A. Potassium. B. Calcium. C. Glucose. D. Sodium. Diuretics are medications that act on the kidneys to increase production of urine, therefore elimination of water from the body. There are five main types of diuretics, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, osmotic diuretics, loop diuretics, potassium-sparing diuretics, and last but not least, thiazide and thiazide-like diuretics. First, what is the difference between thiazide and a thiazide-like diuretic? While all these medications have the same effect, the difference stems from their chemical structure. Thiazides are benzothiazine derivatives, like chlorothiazide, and hydrochlorothiazide. Whereas thiazide-like diuretics, like metolazone, indipamide, and chlorthalidone, are sulfonamide derivatives. The agents in this class are organic acids that are secreted into the proximal tubular lumen. Eventually it inhibits the actions of the sodium anchlorine importer in the distal convoluted tubule and decreases the reabsorption of sodium. The major indication for diuretics is for the management of hypertension and edematous states. Since these medications cause water loss through the urine, it leads to decreased plasma volume and cardiac output, resulting in lower blood pressure. Thiazide diuretics are a mainstay in the treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure, calcium renal stones, and nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. However, thiazides do come with some side effects. First of all, they tend to tamper with sugar and fat metabolism, causing hyperglycemia and an increase in serum cholesterol and LDL. They also cause more calcium and uric acid to be retained in the blood, so hypercalcemia and hyperuricemia are a risk. Chronic hyperuricemia could also lead to gout. Since thiazides increase sodium and potassium loss in the urine, it can use causes hyponatremia and hypokalemia. Finally, people with allergic reactions to sulfonamide medications may develop an allergic reaction to thiazides and thiazide-like diuretics. Therefore the answer is option A. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.